Aloha mai kako. How are you folks doing today? We have a very special guest with us. We have Sai Bridges here in Kualoa to talk to us about mo'o ku'au hao. Sai, could you share with us the importance of, well, first of all, what is mo'o ku'au hao? Aloha e nai keiki. Mo'o ku'au hao is basically understood by most people as, as genealogy. Mm-hmm. It, it is that, but one of the most important elements of that word is uh, the mo, mm. the mo, and of course in Kualoa there's a very well-known mo that tried to stop Hiiaka on her way to Kauai, Ooh. and that mo, its tail is seen very easily out in the waters fronting Kualoa, Mokoli'i Island. Mokoli'i. But um, anciently, throughout the world, and also in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. People were, their, their worth and their value was assessed um, by virtue of their lineage. So, in essence, the, the, their auhau, mm-hmm. their auhau was determined really by many, by their ku auhau. Okay, okay. And, and so, and with that ku auhau, when you have the, the mo'o in there, that is not only it takes you back throughout the generations, but it brings you down because mo'o also means a succession. So Sai, when I was a young boy, I remember people coming up to me at at parties or out in the community and saying, hey, who's your mom? Who's your dad? That's the first question they would ask me. And I realized that they were trying to establish what my genealogy was. How does uh, genealogy uh, help us in our community and, and establish us or tie us to our aina? Well, once upon a time, that was very, very important because we lived in places where our families have been for many generations, and today we move around quite a bit, but that was very important. For example, we're here in Kualoa. Kualoa is perhaps one of the most important and sacred spots on this island of Oahu, Oahu Okaku Hiheva. Mm-hmm. And another place is Kukaniloko, the, the birthing place of, of people of the highest noble strains. And Believe it or not, Kualoa and Kukaniloko are related. They are connected, just as families are connected. This mountain behind us mm-hmm. is called Kanehualani. Kanehualani mm. is not only a mountain, it was a great chief. And in our genealogy, who did Kanehualani marry? Who was his wife? His wife was Kualoa. His oh. wife was Kualoa, and their daughter was Kaunuya Kanehualani. Now, Kanehualani, uh, he comes from the line of Kohe Palawa. That was his mother. And her sister was Kukaniloko. Wow. And so you have, and from Kukaniloko, who begat Kalani Manuia, who begat Kaihikapu Amanuia, mm-hmm. and Kaihikapu Amanuia married Kaunuya Kanehualani, and their son, was Kakuhiheva. I see. I see. And so that genealogy of the land of the land actually is a genealogy of the people too. Of the people. So names and families are tied to land. Oh, so definitely. so if, if you and I meet and I know your, your name, then I know where you're from. Yes. I know your genealogy that way. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's another reason why it's very important for us. What role did Mooku Auhau play in ancient times for Kupuna? it played a very, very important role. For one thing, we needed to know it. Mm -hmm. You need to know who you are by where you come from. And not all people were very astute in that knowledge. Mm -hmm. We had some, and I I was very fortunate, I had a kupuna that was taught at a very young age. The first thing you you did when you got up in the morning, Mm -hmm. after you pule, you go through these names. Mm. 10 to 15 to 20 names uh, and the last thing before you retire for the evening you would go through these names and and then uh, their tutu would question them mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they would ask them questions about particular names and gener- generations did she recite these things before she went to sleep and when she woke up as a means to pay respect or to help her remember these things why, why did she do it because she was told to do it. <laughs> it's basically that. 
A lot of things that we've learned, we were told by our parents, our grandparents, mm -hmm. come here and do this. And oftentimes we never realize until many years later the reasons why. But at that time you never asked questions, you just did it. So, so what is the importance of Mo'oku Auhau today for our kiki? How is it important, important for them? Well, when you know your past, you will better know yourself. And from one kupuna that shared to, I, I remember her saying to her grandson, you need to know this. Mm -hmm. You need to know this. And he said, why? And all she said, because only animals don't know where they come from. <laughs> you need to know this. Yes, yes. And, and so, and, and in that process of, of learning, you will come to, here we are in a place that has trees all over, and you will discover one of the most beautiful trees in the landscape of life, and that's your family tree. Your family tree. That actually connects you to your, your roots then. Right. Tells you who you are, the type of tree you are. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, mahalo for sharing with us. This has been really insightful, and I hope you guys understand and go home and ask your parents about your genealogy, where you come from, so that you can find your roots. Mahalo, Sai, for sharing with us today. Ah. And we'll see you folks in our next section. Take care. Aloha. Aloha.